guys, my name is Ares Busey. And my name is River Mason. And today I will be interviewing River Mason. I'm really super duper excited to be interviewing you today. So how was your day so far? Oh wait, what'd you say? I said, so how was your day so far? My day is great. That's cool, that's cool. So our first question is really for overall, and how long have you been in the modeling and acting business? I would wanna say seven or eight years. That's, that's a pretty long time here, okay. Yeah, basically my entire life, cause okay, I'm that's... nine. Okay, okay, that's really cool, okay. that. I can't even express how long that may be, but how fun it may be to go along with that journey and grow as a person. That seems yep. really, really fun and super cool. So what made you want to get into the modeling and acting business? Well, the way I got into the model and acting business was one day I was on set with my mom and like they didn't they didn't like one of these babies for this pampered um campaign or something. Right. And then they just asked my mom, oh, can we take your baby? Then that's how it all started. That would be really, really, that must be really weird because you yeah. were just there, you're just there watching your mother on set. And then, of course, or just behind the scenes. And then they ask you to actually be where you are. And it's really weird. But I, I, I think it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. To be yep. So... Our next one is basically about your spare time. What do you like to do in your spare time? In my spare time, I like to travel and possibly play games with my friends. That is the complete thing of me. Like, I love to travel. I travel almost every month. It's really fun. Yeah, I'm in Puerto Rico right now. So. Really? That is, that's mm -hmm. really amazing. I really do want to go there. I want to travel so many places, but this COVID-19 has slowed me down just a little bit. So our next question is, what is your biggest strength as a model and act, as a model and actor? My biggest strength has to be my mom because if it wasn't for her, I would not be like anything that I am today. I 100% agree. Mothers or female influencers are the best because yeah. you can see from their perspective how things work and how they may not be doing it on their own, but they are still doing it. And I think yeah. that's really, really nice and empowering. So next we have, what is a cause that is important to you? A cause that is important to me. SARS, because I'm 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 Nigerian, uh huh, and it it, it just it's, it just isn't right because everyone in Nigeria is like black and stuff, and there's this Black Lives Matter stuff going on, right? So can you explain to me why that cause is important to you, like what it what it is, and why it's so important to you? Um, it's important to me because basically those are my people out, out there and it just makes me sad and mad at the same time. I do think it's really sad that race has gotten the best of us for a super long time. It's really sad, but the only thing that we can do is keep moving, which is what we have to do as of course, children. So yeah, I'm really, really excited that you love that topic, which is also has something to do with Black Lives, with the Black Lives Matter cause. So I really yeah. do think that's a really nice thing to like. So next we have, what is inspiring you in life right now? Like, in um, I have three people that's inspiring me. My mom and my two aunts. And why is that? Why is that? Because I look up to them. My mom, my mom is a celebrity wardrobe stylist, and she has her own magazine. My aunt is a 
I, I forgot how to say it. Um, uh, 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 she's in the jur- journalism industry, and yeah. I think she has her own magazine too. And my aunt, Rodiga, she's a rapper. The fact that you have so many empowering women around you, I would definitely be inspired, and I would definitely be influenced by those women. And I think that's amazing that you have those women in your life that also have a platform and are able to guide you in the industry. So on to that, when you're acting, what is your favorite part about being on set? Oh, craft services. (laughs) And why? Why is that? Because we're on set for like five hours and sometimes I'm really hungry and I just love craft services. I can com- I completely agree. When I eat a lot. So food makes me happy and it makes me energetic. Therefore, I will eat. So I, yes. I can 100% agree. So what is your biggest challenge in being a male model? Because I know when you're modeling, it may not be as complicated as females and women modeling. So you have to stand out. So what is the biggest challenge in standing out? The biggest challenge in standing out. Hmm. I actually don't know how to answer that. Um. So when, so what I mean by this is when, you know how when females model, they have to do all of these things and they get more direction than male models. So what is the biggest challenge in that? So what is the biggest challenge in getting that direction? I would say balancing my life in the industry and balancing my life in school. I can definitely agree. When balancing your life in school is so much harder because you have to keep your grades up. You have to pay attention, especially when it's virtual. It must be super hard, especially for someone, of course, younger than me, because you have to deal with so much more distractions at home and things like that. Yeah. Well, I barely have distractions because I'm an only child. I can't relate here. But it's okay. It's okay. So, next we have, what is the easiest part about balancing school and virtual school and modeling and acting? The easiest part is I can miss any day at school and still make up the work. Since it's on a virtual app, of course, you're able to go on that virtual app, do the work, and then just act like you were at school that day, which which is really cool. I can definitely agree. So when you're, of course, being a male model and having all these female influencers, what is the most inspiring piece of advice that anyone has ever given you in the industry, in the industry? Always follow your dreams and never give up. And that was given to me by my mom. I can totally understand where you're coming from because the small pieces of advice that someone gives you can mean a lot. So yes, it definitely is an inspiring piece of advice. I can definitely agree. So overall of this interview, why do you think that being a male model and a male actor is so important in life? Why do you think standing out as a child is important? Wait, I, I, I couldn't hear you because someone was talking in my background. All right. So I said, what is so important and why do you think it's super duper important for people to be and pay attention to those child models and child actors in life? Why do you think it's so important and why do you think that you should stand out as a male model and a male influencer? You should stand out. 
You stand out if you're like different, you're funny, and you just show personality behind the scenes. And that is a really, really inspiring answer because when you're actually being yourself as a character on set, it's so it's so hard balancing your actual self and that character especially yeah. when you're doing a TV show or a movie because you have to go on set and off set. So you have to be able to switch characters super mm-hmm. duper fast, which I think is really cool. So before we go, I would also love to ask you, where can we find you? Where can we find your socials and things like that? Um, my, my Instagram handle is River Mason underscore. My Facebook is River Mason Romaselli. And my book, it, and I have a book, it's an in, it's in Indigo, Walmart, Barnes & Noble. I know there's more, Amazon, and there's more. I just can't remember. So now that you have a book, I'm totally intrigued. So what is this book about? It's about chakras, morning. It's chakras, meditation, and... And, spirit, and just spiritual life. So if you had to pick an age span for this book, what would the ages that you would want the people to read this book? I'll basically say any age, because any any type of age could do it. A uh, one-year-old could do it. A uh, 88-year-old could do it. I think that's really cool because... A lot of books have a certain age limit because of what type of book that is. But you have a unisex and you have an all age book. And that's really inspiring because I know it must be hard balancing all of these things. And now that you have a book, it's adding on to your portfolio. So I know it must be a lot of weight on your shoulders. And that is really, really nice. So that is unfortunately all of the questions that I have for you. But before I go, would you like to introduce yourself again for the people who missed it in the beginning? My name is River Mason Romshelly. I'm an actor, model, and TV personality. That is amazing. So thank you, God. Thank you for coming and speaking to me and letting me interview you. I'm really, I really do appreciate it. And I hope you are doing very well. And I hope you have a nice day. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.